Hi, I'm Miss Wong, and today we're sketching linear graphs. So for the first type of equation, y equals 2, we've done this in the previous video. We noticed that no matter what x value it is, y is always going to be 2. So we get a straight line going across. And it has a y-intercept of whatever the number is, so in this case, 2. So for example, if we had y equals negative 1, then we would have the line down here, again, horizontal and the y-intercept will be negative 1. Whereas if we had x equals a number value, then this time it would be x being 3 all the time, it will be a vertical line, so a line going that way. And the x-intercept will be whatever that number is. So no y-intercept this time, just the x-intercept. So for x equals 0, what would the line look like? It would be a vertical line, and it will be on the y-axis because it's going through x equals 0 all the time. And the x-intercept is 0, 0. So here we have four graphs that you can sketch really quickly. Pause the video and unpause to see if your answers are correct. So for this graph, we can draw the x and y axes really quickly. Always label 0, x and y. And then we know that x equals 20 is on the right side. It doesn't matter how far you go, as long as you do a vertical line and write the number 20. Now in linear graph, we say we always have to give two values. So pick another one. The x is also going to be 20, but the y value doesn't matter what it is. It's always going to be 20. So make sure you have those features. Let's do this equation over here. So again, start with x and y axes and a zero over there. So negative means we're going to the left. So just a tip is draw the line first and then the point. It means you can't miss the point. So 0 0.5 is there, that's one point, and pick anywhere. I'm just going to pick here, so I'm going to write it nice and big, 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, and pick any number, let's do 7. So these are vertical lines. Let's draw these two down here. So again, x, y, and 0. So y equals 12 means it's a horizontal line above the x-axis. So draw a horizontal line, then put the number in. And again, we always have to show two numbers. So let's pick a random one there. So y is going to be 12, and our x value can be anything. And lastly, um, so again, x, y, 0. Now we're going underneath the x-axis. So somewhere below it, doesn't matter where. So our y-intercept is minus 20. Pick any other value, doesn't matter. So the y is minus 20 and our x is any number, doesn't matter. Oh, that's an ugly 7. Let me fix that. 7. Oh, I just made it worse. But you get the drift. So we described the top two as our vertical lines and the bottom ones as our horizontal lines. The second method we're going to look at is the x and y intercept method. For example, sketch 2y plus 3x equals 6. So here we have both x and y intercepts. To find each of these, we let the other value be equal to 0. For y intercept, x is 0. For x intercept, y is 0. And once we find these two coordinates, now we have two coordinates, then we can sketch it. So for the y intercept, substitute x equals 0 into that. So we have 2y plus 0 equals 6. Or in other words, 2y equals 6, divide both sides by 2, we have y equals 3. So our first coordinate is 0, 3. For the x-intercept, where y is 0, we will substitute 0 into there, and we have 0 plus 3x equals 6, or in other words, 3x is 6, dividing both sides by 3 to get x equals 2. So our coordinate is 2, 0. To sketch that, we just put those two points on our graph. My tip when we're drawing graphs, Write the number first, roughly knowing which one's bigger. So three is bigger, so we're going to be going up more than the two, than the amount we're going across. So three and two, and then draw the line and finally put the dot in. Then you will miss the dot and your line will look a lot straighter. Let's practice this method of y-intercept, x-intercept to sketch the graph. Uh, let's try these three uh, equations. You can pause the video and give it a go and unpause to see the solutions. Okay, so first of all, let's find the y-intercept. So y inter, that's how I would write it, x at 0. We have y equals, uh, what's the equation? 0 0.1 times 0 plus 2. 
So we have y equals 0 plus 2 is just 2. So our first coordinate is 0, 2. Our second coordinate is at x intercept is y at y equals 0. So we have 0 equals 0 0.1 x plus 2. Bring the 2 over, we have minus 2 equals 0 0.1 x. Dividing by both sides by minus, sorry, dividing both sides by 0 0.1, we get minus 2 over 0 0.1, which is minus 2 divided by a tenth is the same as minus 2 times 10. So it is minus 20. So our coordinate is minus 20, 0. So now we have our two coordinates and we can sketch the graph. So now we can, just trying to aim properly. So x and y axis, 0. Always put that in. Minus 20 is somewhere on this side. I'm going to put a minus 20. And then 2 is a lot smaller than the minus 20. I'm going to put it there. So I know it's going to go through somewhere there, somewhere there. And then draw the line. Only after that, I put the dot in. It will be harder. Hang on. I'll try to show you what I mean. If I put the dots first and then try to draw, whoop, see, it's a lot harder. Whereas if you draw first and then put the dots, it looks like uh, you've done an excellent job at getting that straight line to go across. Okay, next one. Again, let's do our y-intercept at x equals zero. Sorry about my horrible handwriting. I've only got three working fingers on this hand. Um, so y intercept by x equals 0, which is 0 plus y equals, what's the equation, 250. So y equals 250, which means 0, 250 is our first coordinate. Um, and our second coordinate would be x intercept at y equals 0. So now we have x plus 0 equals 250, and we notice we get the same value. So 250 comma 0 is our x-intercept. So 250, 250, our graph is going to be quite uh, even across. So put those things first. And 250 is positive, 250 is positive. So then put in the numbers and then the dot afterwards. Okay, this one is quite tricky and I'll show you why. So here we have um, y-intercept at x equals 0. We would get y equals 5 times 0 is 0. So it's 0, 0. And then the x-intercept at y equals 0, 0 equals 5x. Dividing both sides by 5, we get x equals 0. So 0, 0. Now this is problematic because we technically have the same point. We only have one point. So if we have one point, what do we do? We'll have to find another point. Um, the easiest number I can think of is x equals 1. So now we have uh, y equals 5 times 1. So y equals 5. So 1, 5 is our second point. So in this scenario, the x and y intercept are the same at um, the origin, 0, 0. So we need a second point and we found it to be 1, 5. So 1, 5 will be around there somewhere. Again, I like to draw the line first and then put the dot after. Okay, so whenever you see um, that equation there with no C, we know that uh, we need to find a second point. So the next method we're going to use is the gradient intercept method. So we have the equation and we're going to look at the gradient and the y-intercept. The y-intercept being 0c, that value there. And the gradient, we're going to move our next coordinate by whatever the rise is, whether we go up and down, and then by the run. Before we practice this, let's practice finding the gradient and the y-intercept. Let's revise that. So here we have a table of lots of equations. Let's see if you can figure out what the gradient and y-intercepts are for these equations. You can pause the video and then unpause to see if you have the same answers. Now let's do all the y-intercepts first. So we have 11 over there, so 0, 11, negative 3, so 0, negative 3. The value by itself here is the 5, not the negative 3, the negative 3 is with the x. So the y-intercept is 5, don't get tricked. The y-intercept here is the value 0. And for the y-intercept here, that happens when x is 0. So sub x equals to 0, we have y equals 10. 
And the y-intercept here, again, sub x equals 0 for this one. And we have uh, 2y equals 6, so y equals 3. So the y-intercept for that one is 3. For the gradient, not only will it identify it, we're going to separate it as how much rise and how much run. Let me show you. So for here, the gradient is 2. In other words, 2 over 1, which means the rise is 2. So we're going up 2 and the run is 1. We're going across 1. We're going to do that for all of these. So here we have the gradient is a quarter, which means the rise is 1, the run is 4. So here we have the gradient is minus 3, or in other words, minus 3 over 1. So the rise is not up, it's down 3 because it's negative, and then the 1 is positive. So it's always going to the right by whatever the amount is, in this case 1. Here we have an invisible 1, or in other words, 1 over 1. So we're going up 1 and across 1. Here we have, when you rearrange it, we have y equals, bring the x over negative x. So the gradient is negative 1, or in other words, negative 1 over 1. So we're going down. Remember the negative means we're going down 1. And the bottom number has no negative. It's always positive. So we're going across by 1. Next one, rearrange this one. We have, uh, well, bring the 4x over the other side. We have 6 minus 4x. And then dividing everything by 2, so y is by itself. We have negative 2x plus 3. You can practice that if you've forgotten. So you can pause and double check. You, go, you can get that uh, uh, rearranged to get that equation. Now the gradient there is negative 2, or in other words, negative 2 over 1, because that's the same number, right? So now negative 2 means we're going down 2, and the 1 means we go across 1. Now that we've practiced this, let's try sketching the gradient intercept method. So for this one, the y-intercept will be 0, 0, because there's nothing there. And then for the gradient 5, or in other words, 5 over 1, because it's the same value, we're going up by 5 and across 1. Up by 5, across 1. So that's where we start, 0, 0. And we go up 5, across 1. We land our next point and we draw a line. So that's the gradient intercept method. We obtain the second uh, coordinate by following the gradient's directions. I'm gonna simp I'm gonna move these equations to the right, but bear in mind what we've calculated and we're going to sketch these. Okay, so for the first one we have 11 is a y-intercept and then two as a gradient. So I'm just trying to draw the x and y intercept. Sorry, the x and y axes first. And then we start with the 11. So just somewhere there, it doesn't really matter, is a y-intercept. And then we're going to go up to, across 1. So up 2 would be 13. Across 1 would be 1. So 1, 13 is our other value. So somewhere there, I'm going to, again, sketch a line first and then put the dot. Let's do the second one there. So we have minus 3 is our y-intercept and a quarter is our gradient. So minus 3 is our y-intercept. So 0, x, y, and now we're going uh, 1, 4. So up 1, across 4. So up 1 will be at negative 2. So our y value will be negative 2. And across 1 means we're at 1. Sorry, across 4. We're at 4. So negative 2 and then across 4. So somewhere there. So somewhere there. Let's do that one there. So the y-intercept is 5. So y-intercept is 5. And the gradient is negative 3. So negative 3 is down 3 across 1. So down 3 from 5 will be at 2. So the y value is 2. Across 1 means we're at 1 because we were at 0, see? So 1, 2. So 1, 2 is around there somewhere. So we're going to have that negative line there. So that's 1, 2. 
Um, so that gives us a negative line which uh, corresponds with the negative gradient. Next one, this one here. So we have, let's draw our axes really quickly. So we have uh, the y-intercept is 0, 0, so that's our first one, 0, 0. And the next one, the gradient is 1, so we go up 1, across 1. So 1, 1. Right, let's try the next one. So that one there, x plus y equals 10. So rearrange that, bring the x over the other side. I'm just going to move this over here, the plus 10. Bring this over this side becomes negative x. So now our c or our grade, sorry, our y intercept is 10 and our gradient is negative 1. Or in other words, negative 1 over 1. So we're going down 1 and then across 1. So when we sketch it, x, 0, y, we start at 10. And then we're going down 1, across 1. So down 1 will be at the y value 9 and across 1 would be at 1. So somewhere there. So draw it first and there. This uh, equation here would be better if we drew it as a x and y intercept so that we can show what that point is. Rearranging 2y equals minus 4x plus 6 dividing by 2, y equals minus 2x plus 3. Uh, y intercept gradient minus 2 over 1 so down 2 cross 1 so sorry about how messy it is so 3 so down 2 would be 3 minus 2 we're going to be at 1 for our y value and across 1 means we're at 1 so somewhere there and that's our last graph there was quite a bit that we went through so let's recap really quickly we looked at horizontal lines those are the lines where y equals a number vertical lines where x equals a number then we looked at the x and y intercept method where we found their y intercept by looking at x equals zero and the x intercept by putting in y equals zero and then we've got the two coordinates and we drew it from there and lastly we just had a look at the gradient intercept method where we look at uh, starting at the y-intercept and moving up or down and then across using the gradient. You might want to watch this video again. There's a lot of content there. Practice, practice, and I'll see you next time.